when you met me at um, Gordon, my concern was for the mental, physical, spiritual well-being mm -hmm. of students because when people tell you you can't, when people put roadblocks in the way to prevent you, at some point you start believing it's impossible. Mm -hmm. And you all we all need is that person who will be honest with us and show us a path, show us the potential we have, encourage us in our strengths. And that's where I felt I needed to be because I had that one man mm. and I don't think he ever, ever knew because you know, when you're a kid, all people look old even when they're not, but I'm pretty sure he was probably in his fifties. Okay, at least in his fifties, he definitely was. He had gray hair and stuff. And, but I don't think he ever gave any thought to how his attention to me and my potential would change my life. Mm. Um, because I did not have aspirations to go to school. I was resigned to the fact that I'm gonna go work in a factory with my friends. Matter of fact, I remember <laughs> When I got out um, the summer before my senior year, I worked at Book of the Month Club, right? Because a, a couple of my friends he had jobs there and they were like, when you graduate, we'll get you a job here. And I was all excited. Like, I don't oh, even have to worry. So. I'm just wow. Wow. <laughs> So, but there are so many environmental factors that can stunt people's potential. When you don't have voices, giving you positive feedback, mm -hmm. positive reinforcement and positive encouragement. Voices are important. They can throw you down, right? Or they can lift you up. 